for discussion on the bill. Represent Balance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I actually had not planned on speaking on this bill, but I heard a couple say that this is for the cameras. So for the cameras, I do feel it necessary to get up and speak. As a conservative Republican, I find it necessary to stand up and speak. We heard some very impassioned pleas from people on this bill that I believe were very honest and heartfelt. And yes, I agree with the majority leader. We also heard some things that were extremely disingenuous. I'll start with I-185. I-185, yes, the voters did say, we do not want to take the sunset off the current Medicaid expansion bill, and we do not want to pay for it with something that's a diminishing resource, such as tobacco tax. And yes, they did say, we know this is going directly to the courts because it is unconstitutional to appropriate money in a referendum. So yes, they spoke about all of those things when they voted no and used their voices that way. I also want to talk about the fact that uh, this is the only place that these people receive benefits. They don't. They go to our hospitals. My rural hospital says the only reason they are still viable and in business today is because we took away some of the burden of the uncompensated care that it was costing them to pay for the people when they showed up at the emergency room. And they didn't show up once. They showed up over and over and over again because they had no access to the type of care that they needed to fight addiction, to cover multiple chronic conditions. They came over and over again. And they brought their children with them because then they didn't have to pay. So to say that, they, that this is avoiding the kind of um, uncompensated care that we know occurs is just not true. So there are many, many reasons. I stood on this floor in past sessions twice and voted against Medicaid expansion. As the Republicans said, just give us a chance to regain the House, to regain the Senate, to get a president in office, and we'll fix it. For eight years, they worked on it, and they did nothing. And here we are, where we've always been, same situation. The law has not changed. It is what it is. The people who need help are not receiving it. And it is costing the taxpayers money without this bill, and yes, it costs money with this bill. I am now ready as a conservative Republican to vote for a solution that we could not get done with the Republicans in the House and the Senate and the presidency, Mr. Chairman.